So, how is everyone? I hope you're all well. This is video three of three. I was only going to do two, but now I've done three. I'm treating you. I'm spoiling you. It's not even Christmas. But anyway, we're going to get straight into the meat and potatoes. Because look, I just wanted to focus on one little element of what's going on in this case. Now, many of you will know, and we did sort of s s touch on it in the video previous to this one, regarding the knife sheath and this, this it's like a pissing competition between the defence and the prosecution. You know, people asking for stuff. We've given you stuff. What more do you want? Why don't you give us this? It's just, it's bizarre. It's absolutely bizarre. Considering how, what sort of case this is and the fact that, look, it, it's likely going to go down the route of a capital punishment crime. Do you know what I mean? And, and you know, I know there's this innocent till proven guilty. We've got the preliminary hearing to get through and look, that's to determine whether it's going to go to trial. Some people think that it's not even going to get that far. I'm of a mindset innocent until proven guilty, but the more I've looked at stuff, the more I've heard stuff, even though there's some huge, huge red flags about the behaviour of these students around the time of these crimes, some of that can, and you have to admit, sadly, that it can be explained off. It doesn't make it right, but it seems that this Greek fraternity, sorority way of life can impact the way that they behave at certain times and let's not forget even though some people get offended when you say they're kids they're kids and kids can be fucking stupid and look at the end of the day it would appear and i'm reading between the lines that the prosecution are not looking to utilize the knife sheath and i've heard some people turn around and say well, why would that be because ultimately the knife sheath is really the only thing that ever tied brian koberger to the case and surely they have to explain how they found Brian Coburg. Now, in effect, they don't really have to. Now, we've seen their other statements. There are thousands upon thousands of pictures. There is hours upon hours of video. And, and there's going to be a lot of stuff in there. And for them to be able to seemingly confidently drop the knife sheath, it would appear that they feel that there's enough evidence there that would support their pursuit of a potential death penalty. And like I say, we've got to go through the preliminary hearing first, but the prosecution obviously are confident that what they've got is enough. Now, we've speculated on whether they don't really have anything, but I'm beginning to wonder. I am seriously beginning to wonder, and we have to sort of bear take into consideration that Brian Coburg just could be the man he could be the one and although we can go down the route of innocent until proven guilty that's the stance that we want to take what else could there be in the background that they could have found because what we've got to also understand is the knife sheaf although people will turn around and say well the knife sheaf had DNA on it Brian Coburg's DNA but we don't know that that knife sheaf belonged to the murder weapon we don't know that all the knife sheaf on its own means is that brian koberger at some point was in possession of that knife sheaf and somehow it got into that house now it doesn't mean that he took it there they couldn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he personally took it there all they can do is speculate especially if within the court proceedings the defence could prove that that knife sheath didn't belong to the murder weapon. Then you've got a massive, massive problem. Also, they would have to explain how the DNA situation works, the, the genealogy DNA, and how it had to be sent from here to there. Nearly smashed that again. Do you know what I mean? And when you start looking into these things, especially things that are in their infancy, people don't fully understand, that can start to play on people's minds. So if they can drop it, they don't need it, that's probably a wise thing for them to do, especially if they've got other stuff in the background that could potentially prove that he did it. Now, what could they have? They could have proof that he bought the knife. They could have that. They could have a full trail of his seeking, searching, finding, purchasing, getting rid of. They could easily have that. 
could be amongst all of the documentation that they've got. They've uplifted his computer, looked at the history on it, could have that. It could have history of him indeed cyber-stalking these people in this house. It could have other data that proves that he went to this area. We just don't know. But there could be an abundance. They could have nothing, but ultimately they could have an abundance. And with this latest sort of, again, the pissing contest... I do wonder whether they have got something that they feel is indeed a slam dunk. Now, they have, like I say, shot a shot over the bow back and said, look, this is exculpatory evidence. Tell us what that is then. You want all this and you're asking this and the other. What's your fucking information that you've got? Put your money where your mouth is. And we are yet to hear what that is. Now, could it just be that Brian Koberg is going to reach out and get one of them to prove that he'd been in that house before? Because that wouldn't necessarily be enough to say that he didn't do it. It could then, again, argue the knife sheath, because he could say, well, he had it there at an earlier time and left it there. Which would, again, be wise for the prosecution to drop the knife sheath if that can, again, be brought into question. It's a long way to go, but I think this is going to be an interesting one. I really, really do. And the more things progress... You know, my, even though I'm even, I'm even, innocent until proven guilty, after listening to Dave and the things that he said and, and this sorority and the fraternity house and how they operate and, you know, really taking things into consideration, I can't help but think that Brian Koberger may be going down for this. Was someone else involved with him? I've always said that I do feel that he had a connection to it, certainly. But did he do it on his own? Let me know down below where you are. And I'll catch you all tomorrow.